Hey, what's going on? Luke here. I haven't done a video like this in a little while where I've just talked about uh, some news or a big story that's happening in the NRL. Now, I thought I'd do a video talking about Jack White. Now, there's a lot of talk about Jack White and leaving the Canberra Raiders, wanting to test his market uh, or test his, his value on the market is probably the best way to put it. And I just wanted to do a video similar to what I did when Mitchell Moses was sort of floating around the idea of leaving the Eels. Obviously, he's ended up re-signing. Not really sure how Eels fans feel about that. I think they're, they're fairly happy, but... Um, I did a video where I talked about like why your team shouldn't want to sign Mitchell Moses, and I'm going to do the exact same as to why your team shouldn't sign Jack Whiten. Now, obviously, he's going to go on the market, and he's going on the market for a reason, because he wants to pretty much take the highest contract by the looks of things. Now, there's a little bit of talk about him. You know, he's 30 years old. Uh, a lot of talk about him wanting to win a premiership as well, but it's kind of just speculation at the moment whether he's after money or whether he wants to win a premiership, because... Uh, I think it's feel good. Someone's come out and said that there's, there's a lot of talk that he wants to go and, and live in Queensland for some reason, which obviously there's going to be a lot of talk about uh, the Dolphins because the Titans are pretty set in the harms, you'd have to imagine. They've got Kieran Foran in there, got a couple good youngsters there. Um, also, it's just a matter of teams having the salary cap. Broncos obviously don't need him. They've got Ezra Mam, who's doing a fantastic job. Um, Adam Reynolds is the halfback. Uh, even in other positions, they don't really need anybody. Obviously, they just lost Herbie Farmworth, and you'd imagine because they didn't have the salary cap space. So, uh, look, Jack Whiten is a fantastic player. I need to start that out by saying that I really rate Jack Whiten. There's a reason he makes all these rep sides. I think there's also a reason he makes these rep sides in positions other than the one that he plays week in, week out, which is 5'8". Obviously, he's won a Dalian medal, but I don't think the Dalian actually reflects who is like who is the top player. Like, when was the last time... Oh, man, obviously, apart from Tom Trebojevic, but... Like, you would look at the Dally M's, and I feel like, especially like a Jack White, and I feel like someone like him, he himself probably was like, huh? I'm the best player, but yeah, he still won it. That was kind of just, I don't know, the Dally M's just one of those awards where I don't necessarily think it reflects or rewards um, some players, especially if there's uh, a couple of good players on, you know, a certain side uh, where they're all going to be taking points off each other. So, um, yeah, I, I think it is a great accolade. Obviously, I think a bigger one for me would be the Clive Churchill that he won. I thought he was absolutely fantastic in the grand final. And it does show you that Jack White and Ken, he is an amazing player and he can be a game-breaking player. Uh, but for all the Clive Churchill performances, and they even lost that one, um, there's games where he kicks it out in the full all the time and you know he can't do anything right as well. Now, what you do know from Jack White is that you're going to get a solid defender all the time. He's someone who def he hits hard, defends well, uh, one of the hardest hitters in the game, especially for a uh, for, for a halves player, a backs I should, player, I should say. And obviously, he's got a lot of versatility as well. However, he's going to test himself on the market as like a marquee guy. And I don't think Jack White is a marquee player, in my opinion. Now, he is maybe for the Raiders, but... You go through, you take a look at every single side. Now, the talk is obviously the Dolphins at the moment. Sean O'Sullivan, not a marquee player, but he's like a traditional sort of half. Then they've got um, the young fella there, Katawa, who's coming through, who they you'd think he's going to be the long-term future of the club. So Jack White comes in, who does he replace? Does he replace the guy who's the future of the club, potentially annoy him, make him look elsewhere after he's already just played first grade. And then Sean O'Sullivan is doing a fantastic job as well. Obviously just got hurt, but he's been sort of playing his trade in the reserves and he's finally got an opportunity. So there's a halves position not really available. And also for what Jack White offers and for the money he's going to be demanding, you would imagine he's going to be asking for upwards of a million uh, in terms of that's why he's leaving leaving the Raiders. You think the Raiders would throw the checkbook at him just to keep him because he's you know a Raiders junior. He's been around the club his whole life. Uh, one of those one club players it doesn't seem to happen apart from at, <laughs> apart from at the Raiders. Funnily enough, Jared Croker, Jackie Whiten, maybe Josh um, Papali as well. But um, just in terms of the Raiders, like. Jack Whiten is a Raider through and through. And when I think of the Raiders, I think of a guy like Jack Whiten. Obviously, I was just talking about him being a one-club player. I think they'd be crazy to sort of let him go. But at the same time, if he thinks he's going to go and make huge money elsewhere, I don't know if it's really going to be there. Uh, I've just mentioned the Dolphins, like the desire of going to play in Queensland. Um, speaking of just, just other five base in general, you've got Matty Burton, who um, just re-signed with the Bulldogs. Um, but you've got, like like I mentioned, Ezra Mann, one of the best 5'8s in the game. Tom Dearden is very, very young and has played for Queensland. Looks the goods. Absolutely fantastic player. Jerome Lemire, obviously, um, plays New South Wales, won multiple premierships. Still got Luke Keery going around. Um, Cody Walker. I don't know where you'd actually rank Jack Whiten in the scheme of, of the 5'8s. I mean, I know he's a very good player, but uh, in terms of actual up against other 5'8s, I don't really know where you rank him. And when you look at his best seasons, it's always been in the stack side. Now, we're, I'm talking back to the grand final, the Clive Churchill win. 
Um, they lost the game, but you also look at the other guys he had around him. Now, Aiden Caesar, I don't think he's like an elite halfback or anything like that, but had Josh Hodgson, who was a top three um, hooker at the time. Um, you also had Chance, who had just come onto the scene and was one of the best fullbacks in the game at the time. Um, and then you just had the rest of the side around them. Your, your Rappiners was in his peak, um, you know, even like your Joey Lay Lewis and all that sort of stuff. Like, they're absolutely killing it at the time. Whitehead, Bateman, all those guys. Now he hasn't got the cattle around him, and we're not really hearing too much about Jack Whiten. There's no Dally M Awards. There's no there's no talk about him, um, you know, making the Blues side at 5'8". Uh, he's definitely gone down the pecking order uh, in terms of the Blues as well. So I think that's something to be talked about as well. But just in terms of a marquee signing, which I think he would sort of look at himself as, and is sort of going around to other clubs and being like, I can be your guy. There's nothing that really reflects that he can be your guy. He hasn't won a premiership. When he's played rep footy, it's always been in the centers or the wing or off the bench. He's never actually been in the 5'8 position. And even in terms of going through the ranks, um, he was always looked at as like a center. Uh, they tried him at fullback, tried him in the halves, went back to fullback, centers, like floated around, ended up finding his spot at 5'8. But there's there's no real point you could sit there and say like Jack Whiten's got a fantastic kicking game or you know he's consistently just smashing people every week despite him winning a Dalian. So if I'm a club and I'm looking at guys, I'm looking at who's off contract, Jack Whiten's not it. Um, there's a lot of talk about him winning a premiership too. I keep saying a lot of talk, but uh, a lot of the talk is Jack Whiten wants to go and win a premiership. But who realistically out of all these big clubs, unless he's on huge unders, and I don't even know how that works salary cap wise, but in terms of like positions, like does he go and sign for the Roosters? They don't need a halves player. You know, they're losing so early, but, you know, they generally don't really struggle to pick up players. Dom Young's coming in. You know, Roosters don't really need him. Storm definitely don't need him. Um, Panthers 100% do not need him. Uh, you know, even other teams sort of on up. It's always going to be talk about the Tigers, but if you're the Tigers, you're struggling in the halves, and this is what I find with a lot of these sides. Yes, they're struggling for a halves player, but they're not struggling for a 5-8. They're looking for a guy who's going to direct the team around. He's going to be a leader. He's going to be the halfback. Uh, I think they're the ones that you, you should be seeking out. Say, for example, the Bulldogs could do with a halves player, but not a player like Jack Whiten. It's kind of just a bad timing for Jackie Whiten. A um, little bit of talk as well about him like linking up with the Rabbitohs. I'm kind of like, I don't get it. If he's putting himself on the market, why would he, why would he go to a club to play center? I don't understand that. I really don't. Um, maybe in terms of longevity, like maybe him going into the centers isn't a bad idea, but uh, also like he's fought his whole career to become like a legitimate halves player. And then the second he is, he's kind of like, all right, I'll go back to the centers. It doesn't make sense to me. I think he's definitely seeking halves money as to why he's put himself on the market and just didn't re-sign with the Raiders. Uh, and, and also the, the thought process of, I'm not going to win a premiership at the Raiders, so I want to move on. But, like, who are you going to sign with? I just went through with them. Like, Sharks are another one. Yeah, they probably could go with a 5'8", maybe. they got Moylan, they got Trindle. Two very, very good players. Jack White, and I think, is definitely better than them. But they're not going to throw big money to bring him across. And I think that's also another thing that needs to be looked at. As, you know, some clubs could do with having a half player, but they've got money invested in other positions. And, you know, if they bring in Jack White and... Great. That's great for, you know, you're signing a 31-year-old whenever he gets to the club. Um... Uh, that's fantastic, right? You get a great player. He's played for Australia, done all that sort of stuff. But, like, who are you going to lose to get Jack White? And that's sort of what I'm looking at with the Dolphins. When, like, the Dolphins, yes, I think Jack White would be fantastic with Wayne Bennett. But, um, you know, this isn't a guy who's developing in the NRL. This is a guy who's established. Um, and I think at this point, just finish up with the Raiders, man. I don't know why you're getting shopped around. I'm so tempted to do a video talking about Gutherson in the same sense of, like, I don't know why the Eels... Like, you're not going to find someone better. Uh Without, like, in terms relative to the contract, you know what I mean? A guy who's got enough passion for the club. Uh, I can see Jack Whiten being frustrated with how things have gone at the Raiders the last couple of seasons. And it doesn't really look like things are going to change too much. So I understand that. But um, him going to another club, purely going to have to take a huge pay cut. And I just feel like that's not what he, like, must be doing if he's testing the market. Well, at least they're using the phrase testing the market. So I don't know whether that's just... You know, it, they always sort of put it out as like chasing money. And that's kind of how it's deemed as when you're testing the market. So maybe he's genuinely wanting to just go to another club. He can sit back, doesn't have to be the main guy. He can play in the centers. He can sort of, you know, cash those checks and maybe win a premiership. I don't know. Maybe that's in the future for Jack White. And like, I wouldn't blame him if he left and went to like a powerhouse and, you know, played for unders or whatever. But just in terms of like, if he purely is sort of after a big contract, one last contract, um, I just, I just don't see it at any half decent club 
But yeah, like you could go and win a premiership at, at some of the better clubs, play for unders, and uh, I don't know, maybe be set up with a job for life. Who knows, you might be running around as a trainer for the Roosters. You never know. Anyways, that's just my two cents on Jack White. And uh, I had a few notes written down. I don't think there's anything I missed here. I, I mean, I did mention that he's, he's a bit hot and cold too. So, you know, at his best, absolutely unstoppable. At his worst, he's kicking it out on the full, like two or three times a game. That's just the sort of player he is. You take the good with the bad. Raiders fans will obviously be able to sort of agree with that or disagree. But um, yeah, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below because that's where I'm going to wrap things up here. Hopefully you did enjoy that one. Leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that sort of stuff. Uh, also, chuck me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. Everything's just Mr. Luke. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Go ahead, give me a follow. You're seeing it on the screen right now. Also, become a member of the channel. You're seeing all of the members that we currently have on the screen right now. If you'd like to be added to this list, uh, it also just help out the channel greatly. You can go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Like I said, it does help out the channel massively as well as Super Chats as well. You get to be featured in videos and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, hopefully enjoy that one guys. Stay tuned for more content on the channel and I'll see you soon next one. See you guys.